Claire de Lune was written by the modernist composer and Parisian Claude Debussy. Debussy was born in Saint-Germain-en-Laye, a suburb of Paris, in 1862. He wrote parts of Claire de Lune in 1890, but made revisions until its publication in 1905. Claire de Lune translates to Moonlight, and it's one of Debussy's most famous works. Not only has it been popular among classical music performers, but it's also been used in many pop culture movies and television shows. More recently, it's been heard on HBO's Westworld and Amazon Studios' Mozart in the Jungle. You've probably heard it before, but in case you haven't, here's what the intro sounds like. As you can tell, Debussy's music does not sound at all like the romantic or classical composers that came before him. That's because Debussy did not conform to the rules of classical music theory and composition. Instead, he used unconventional harmonies and scales to write a different kind of music that people hadn't heard before. Things like the whole tone scale, pentatonic scales, and unconventional chord progressions. All of these can be found in Debussy's music. Even though Claire de Lune is one of Debussy's most popular piano works, it's actually not a piano solo. It's part of a larger collection, called Suite Bergamasque. The suite is made of four pieces. Prelude, Menuet, Claire de Lune, and Passe-Pied. The Bergamasque mentioned in the title refers to a type of medieval dance. This may explain why two of the other movements are named for dances common in 16th century France. The suite itself and Claire de Lune get their names from a poem by Paul Verlaine, a French poet who lived around the same time as Debussy. The poem is also called Claire de Lune. The English translation goes like this. Your soul is a delicate landscape where roam charming masks and bergamasks, playing the lute and dancing and seeming almost sad under their whimsical disguises. While singing in a minor key of victorious love and easy life, they don't seem to believe in their happiness, and their song mingles with the moonlight. With the sad and beautiful moonlight, which makes the birds in the trees dream and sob with ecstasy, the water streams, the great slim water streams among the marbles. And so we have this poem that describes very loosely a celebration at night where people are dressed up in festive costumes, but they seem sad. Musicians are singing happy lyrics with sad melodies, and the overall impression is that the scene is neither happy or sad, but somewhere in between. Although Debussy was inspired by the Impressionist artists of the time, like Monet, he didn't like the term Impressionism when applied to his music, saying, I am trying to do something different, what the imbeciles call Impressionism, a term which is as poorly used as possible, particularly by the critics. Let's see how Debussy accomplishes something different with Claire de Lune. The piece itself is fairly short, with the average performance lasting about five minutes. The structure of the piece is in three parts. The first section is an andante, or walking tempo, that introduces the main theme. The second section is a bit faster and introduces the second theme. And the third section is slower and brings back the melodic material from the first section. There's also a short outro at the end that helps close out the piece. Let's listen to the first section and see if we can hear the main melody.
Now, let's listen to the transition between the first section and the second section when the tempo picks up a little bit and we hear the second main theme. Then in the third section, Debussy brings back the melodic material from the first section. And finally, we have this outro that brings the piece to a close. In particular, Debussy uses a very conventional chord progression at the end to close out the piece, moving from the fifth to the first of the scale, something that he usually doesn't do, but it helps close out the piece very well, giving a very... Um, satisfactory feeling for the listener of the piece coming to an end. Let's take a listen and I'll point out where Debussy uses that 5-1 movement. This video just scratches the surface of Debussy and his music. I highly encourage you to listen to the complete Claire de Lune if you haven't already, and give the sweet Bergamasque a try uh, if you want to hear more of his music. If you have a favorite Debussy piece, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about supporting the Odd Quartet channel, please check out the Patreon link below. And if you'd like to watch more music theory videos or music history videos, check out one of these videos over here. And as always, thank you for watching.